When I see something really horrible, I put my foot down. Hard. Because I know that everyone else is lifting his. There is no terrible way to win. There is only winning. A young Italian immigrant living in France, Ivo Levy grew up idolizing film stars like Fred Astaire and Gary Cooper. After investing his working class wages in singing lessons, the ambitious teenager got his break on a local stage, and Yves Montand, the performer, was born. Seeking to further his career by moving to Paris, the charismatic Montand impressed renowned songstress Edith Piaf, who took a professional and romantic interest in the up-and-comer and helped to launch his film career. Montand's first significant role came with Marcel Carnet's Les Portes de la Nuit. Set in post-war Paris, Montand plays a resistance fighter who is mysteriously told that he will briefly encounter the woman of his dreams for one night. Several chance meetings prove the prediction true. Parce que je rêve sans aucun doute. Pas possible, on vous a parachuté. The striking film presented a melancholy take on an uncertain post-war world. Ici, on a pas qu'un job. On a des coupures, des gambines. On arrive à coûter et à s'en jeter un temps en temps. C'est tout. Mais pourquoi vous vous barrez pas? C'est pas l'envie qui manque, tu verras. Montand's acting career was firmly established with Henri-Georges Clouseau's The Wages of Fear, as one of four desperate men who embark on a perilous mission for an unscrupulous oil company. Écoute, Joe. Écoute-moi bien. Il y a 2000 dollars à la clé. Oh, mais je m'en fous du pognon, moi je tiens à ma peau. Trop tard, mon pote, fallait réfléchir avant. Je n'ai pas demandé à venir, non Je te l'ai acheté que j'avais les fois. T'en fais pas, ma gosse, je te montrerai à mesure. Tu te souviens Bon. But maintenant, il faut passer et on passera. The film builds relentless, unyielding suspense. Pitting men against the insurmountable will of corporate interests. Similar themes would reappear when Montan worked with director Costa Gavras, appearing in several films that closely mirrored instances of corruption and absolute power as they occurred around the globe. Playing a doomed activist and politician, a tortured and coerced communist official. Avoué. Avoué quoi? a kidnapped government agent. Si vous me tuez, ce sera un geste de cruauté d'impuissance. Si vous ne me tuez pas, ce sera une preuve de faiblesse. The film sought to illuminate the inner workings and underhanded dealings of governments and political factions. While perfectly suited to play unsentimental and unflappable characters, Montan could also exude endless charm now I feel marvelous. And on occasion, he sang on film. And who would ever guess what powers you possess? And who would not be stunned to see you prove? There's more to us than surgeons can remove. Montan worked steadily through the remainder of his life receiving great acclaim for his role as a meddling village elder in the wildly successful pair of films from director Claude Berry, Jean de Florette, and Manon of the Spring. Au nom du Père, du Fils et du Saint-Esprit, je te baptise le Roi des Deuillers. Montan's talents as a performer transcend nationalities, creeds, and genres principled man who never forgot his working-class roots. His grounded ease, distinctive stoic gaze, and melodic voice Hello. continue to resound 